um, out to you. So let's start with this. So there's a lot of um, terms. So I'm going to start with the carbohydrate cycle because number one, that's, that's the one that we need um, to kind of start with to give you all the basic information. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with, I'm going to kind of draw it with um, some pictures. So this is, um, this is a piece of candy. Okay. And this is going to represent my um, glucose. Okay. Now keep in mind that I'm going to put um, off here to the side. So if this is a complex carbohydrate, meaning if this is a starch or a disaccharide, I'd have to go through hydrolysis to break it down into the individual parts, right? What is one single hexagon? Monosaccharide. Thank you. Monosaccharide, okay. So you're gonna release release some um, some bonds there, but the majority of of that um, we want to get the glucose. So you're actually going to go through um, the first step, really, to cellular respiration is called glycolysis. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this off to the side and I'm gonna put glycolysis. Okay, glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm. Okay, this was the part on the video that was like only two, right? Because glycolysis happens without oxygen. Okay, so we say that this is anaerobic. Does that term sound familiar? Yeah, from, probably. from what? Health class. I oh, think. now, why would you say health class? Because when we were talking about like workouts and stuff, uh, I think it was like, um, like slower workouts, you have oxygen and other ones you don't. I'm so, like, I'm so proud of you. Yes, you are so right. So slower workouts, you have a chance to breathe, right? Yeah. So, um, so for example, very different running two miles than doing the 100 meter dash. Would you agree? Yeah. That, that burst, so you'll hear of aerobic exercise versus anaerobic. So anaerobic is those fast, um, so I'm sure, do you remember talking about fast twitch or slow twitch muscles, muscle fibers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly, so we're coming back to this, okay? We're coming back to this. So this is without oxygen. Um, glycolysis, so happens out there in the cytoplasm. And um, when it, um, and this would be on page. This is on page 77 in your textbook, okay? So talking about this right here, okay? So we're actually gonna break up glucose into something called pyruvic acid. And is it, as, it being, as it is being changed into pyruvic acid, that's where you get the release okay, of 2-A-T-P. And that's where your video said, only two, right, only two. It's not very efficient. So I'm gonna, every time I write ATP, I'm gonna color that in yellow because that's energy. You also get heat as a, as a waste product. So I'm going to draw some Flames, okay, I'm gonna draw some flames.
okay? So this pyruvic, this process right here, again, is, is necessary. Um, you're like, well, why would we even need to do that? Well, that's because this pyruvic acid, okay, is really important in, in the next step of breaking the sugar down, okay? So we have to do the glycolysis step. What we would not want to do is rely on glycolysis to get us all the energy that we actually, actually need, okay? So in, in previous um, classes, sometimes we draw um, a little beaker for acid, okay, pyruvic acid. Um, if, well, not if, if you take um, biology classes, um, I don't think I remember having to go through and actually learn the, um, I did actually um, in high school, I had to learn like the um, molecular formulas of pyruvic acid, but it's all the CH and O's, but um, the pyruvic acid, it actually for one monosaccharide, it breaks into two um, pyruvic acids. So we could think you could put two pyruvic acids, okay? So maybe I'll draw two arrows, okay? So one glucose molecule, two pyruvic acids, okay, in this cycle. Along with, you add a coenzyme, they call it coenzyme A. And in previous um, classes, um, we draw a carrot, because number one, carrots are a great source of vitamin A. But remember a coenzyme, the job of a coenzyme is to add a molecule to complete the structure. So remember that um, iron, okay, is a actually not a coenzyme, but a cofactor adds to the structure of hemoglobin so that hemoglobin works. And together, these two form a type of chemical called acetyl coenzyme A. It is not important for you to know what that structure looks like, um, but it is important to understand that it is a new structure, and there's, of course, two of them, by the way, because there were two pyruvic acids. So I'm gonna draw my carrot inside of my um, beaker of a sea of acid so that you understand that together, these actually form a new chemical. This new chemical is what starts cellular respiration, okay? So I'm gonna draw a line across here and I'm going to write now mitochondria. Oh, here you go. Mitochondria, say it, I know you want to. I, yeah, I know, it's so cheesy, right? But so remember that this is occurring cellular, this is the cellular respiration part, okay? This is happening in, in the mitochondria. This is aerobic respiration, meaning in the presence with oxygen, okay? And the cycle in which, so this is happening um, in the, when we talk about it as two acetyl coenzymes. This is a very, very complex process. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you, but I will tell you this, okay? And um, I'm going to, this right here, my friends, is the input. This is the product that you're putting in to start the cycle to actually, this is, remember, this is from one glucose molecule only that you're getting this that will actually go through this cycle. I am not interested at all, okay, in you learning all of these different chemicals. Not interested. Did I have to do that? Yes. Did I actually have to go through and draw these? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, 
and do I know them? No, I don't, but I've actually went through and in AP bio, we actually went through and showed how these switch and how these turn. That is not necessary for us. What you need to understand is through a series of reactions, okay, we have the, the cycle, it's called the citric acid cycle. So if I were you, and I know some of you like to draw pictures, um, draw your best picture of like a piece of fruit, whether it be um, an orange or here I've got, um, let's see, I'll make this an orange, okay? Get it, citric acid cycle. Okay, I refer to it as the CAC, okay? And actually through several turns of the citric acid cycle, this is where you get your, this is where you get your ATP. This is where the video was like, yay! So here's what we have because the products are what we're most, this is what we're most concerned about, okay? So, you get 36 to 38 ATP, okay? Oh, I said ATP, so I'm gonna make that yellow. 36 to 38, I don't know why it varies, but 36, so we'll just refer to 36, ATP from one, glucose molecule, okay? That sounds like a lot, but remember 40% of your ATP is used to ship things in and out of the cell. As far as energy, what else do we have besides this? What do we have as a waste product? Come on now, feel the burn. What happens when you exercise? You release heat. Yeah, and guess what? You're not gonna be able to harness that heat, right? That's gonna be a waste product. What else is a waste product out of cellular respiration? It's a gas. CO2. Oh, you are so good. CO2, carbon dioxide. What else is a waste product? H2O. Oh, you got it, yes. There's your formula, right? Okay. Now friends, this is what we're really talking about is this is all about carbohydrates. So the big question is, if we look at lipids and proteins, okay, lipids and proteins. So our next one would be a lipid, okay? How, how are you going to take, so for example, so I'm gonna get us started just because I want you to see Okay, the next two cycles. This is a glycerol, right? And three what? Oh wait, fatty. yeah, fatty. fatty acids, right? When we talk about and get through the end of this on lipids, are we going to get the same thing? And guess what the answer is? Someone take a risk. Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're gonna get the same thing. Now, is it going to be as direct as this? No. Are we still gonna get acetyl coenzyme A? Yes. But are we going to have to take and do some different processes to get it to being down here? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. So, Sometimes instead of working um, smarter, not harder, if you're taking in this, we're gonna have to work harder. So we're gonna talk about the lipid pathway. 
And then we're gonna talk about the protein pathway. Now, what are proteins made up of? Amino acids. Ah, a chain of amino acids, absolutely. So a chain of amino acids are going to have to be broken down in order to get to the, to the citric acid cycle, okay? And we will cover those two um, tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I am going to, I, I recorded this, um, but um, I will talk about these tomorrow. I'm going to not take any more time your job um, tonight is to really look at, think about this, think about, um, look at it in the book to kind of compare it, but also work on finishing up your project. Okay, that's what we really want to, um, hold on.